Hey guys, Adam, Total Transformation Heating and Air Conditioning. Kind of taking you along today on some refrigeration repair options for you. You may have had your system recently diagnosed as being low on refrigerant charge. We well, do have options. There are plenty of options that you can choose from. First option, you can always just recharge the system. Um, chances are, if you're low on refrigerant, it's probably because you're losing it through a leak. You know, there's, there's really only two ways you can lose refrigerant in a system, through a leak or someone physically taking it out of your system. So, notoriously, systems leak. Um, it's not always recommended to recharge the system just because it's not a good idea. It's kind of like having a hole in your gas tank. It's unpredictable. You don't really know how long the refrigerant charge is going to last. Second option that needs to take place is you need to have a leak search performed. And what I'm holding here and what we're using today is an electronic leak tester. Uh, this is an industry standard for being one of the best. Uh, it will pick up leaks within a matter of seconds depending on wh where we can locate it and what's going on. Now one thing that needs to be said about electronic leak search, it's not 100% guaranteed. You know, there are variables that can happen and it's, we don't always guarantee that we can find every single leak in the system, especially if they're very, very, very small pinhole leaks. Um, so one thing that needs to be done is to make sure that the company that is doing this test, using good tools, make sure the tools are calibrated, make sure they're spending time on the system to verify where it's leaking. Uh, just to give you kind of an idea, as you can hear it chirping, it's got a steady chirp. What, uh, what these will usually do when they check, indicate that there is a leak in the system is you can notice a drastic change in the pitch and the frequency of the device showing that we do have a confirmation of a leak in the system. Just to kind of show you guys again, just to make sure we can double check what area of the core we're losing refrigerant at. The closer I get to the bottom of these U-bends here seems to be where our culprit is leaking from. A um, couple things to consider when, when working on a system or when diagnosed with low refrigerant charge. Guys, low refrigerant charge usually equals low refrigerant velocity through the system. So any system that's been operating, especially on an extended time of low refrigerant charge, is drastically decreasing the efficiency of that system. What's going to happen with low refrigerant velocity is we're going to have oil slugging. We're not moving everything that needs to be moved at a proper rate. For example, we can, we can cause compressor strain. TXVs, if you have a thermal expansion valve, any pistons, you know, you may cause slugging of oil. These are some things to consider about just recharging the system. So it's always a good idea to think about the ultimate repair, either fix the leak or replace the component that's leaking in the system. Once again, guys, my name is Adam with Total Transformation Heating and Air Conditioning. Wishing you guys good luck and uh, thank you for joining me today.